Hello, it's The Ghost. Welcome to A Stranger World Than Fiction, where we're taking a look at what's all going on out there and what others are claiming to be true. As truth finders, we are trying to find answers. Take a listen to this share about aliens and ghosts, abductions, and let me know what you think about what they have to say. Are there some interesting connections here that we don't talk about very often? Coming to us from dailymail.co.uk, we have Aliens Want to Steal My Soul. British woman claims she's been repeatedly abducted by reptilian extraterrestrials. A British woman claims she's been abducted by aliens on repeated visits since she first made contact with them in the 1990s. Samantha McDonald told a skeptical Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby on This Morning, the show This Morning, how she has experienced supernatural activity from the early 1990s until recent times. She describes her extraterrestrial visitors as the reptilians and the greys, who she believes are working together. Now, if any of you thought of that, you know, we have a ton of different aliens out there, right? Lots of ideas, lots of witnesses. Do they ever talk to each other? I don't really think we've talked about that here. But if they're all coming from somewhere else and we have a universe out there that we don't know anything about, could they in fact know and work together? So keep that in mind. Just a thought. Well, this woman says, I have asked them what they want with me, and they've said that they had come to take me and my family. What they were after was my energy and my soul essence. I don't know why they keep coming back to me, she said. I think it has to do with my energies, as I'm into healing and meditation. When asked to describe what happens when she's taken, Samantha said she has no recollection of her ordeals. She explained, you don't always remember the abductions because you have memory swipes. You just feel like you've been somewhere, but you don't actually remember it. When Philip queried if this is what most of us would describe as a dream, she replied, oh no, definitely not. I've woken up with marks all over my body and then have been possessed, sometimes to the point of mind control where thoughts come into your head that are not your own. And I can't explain it any other way, she tells him. She added that she has woken up to find her body covered in needle marks, scratches, and bruises after an abduction. When this was shared, she had not had a visitation or abduction for a year. But Samantha said, too, she doesn't fear a return. I've been through so much already, I try to take it in stride, she said. She revealed that she believes her otherworldly experiences have also led to her being put under surveillance on Earth stating she often has black helicopters over her home and has been followed by police cars. I think they're trying to send the message that we are watching you. You better be careful, Samantha said of the not-so-subtle surveillance. Samantha appeared on the ITV show as part of their Supernatural Week, along with Joanne Summerscales, founder of AMMACH, Amok Project which stands for Anomalous Mind Management Abductee Contactee Helpline. Well, that's a mouthful, and I have never heard of that before. Joanne said that though her work on the project, which is designed to support those, usually ridiculed by mainstream conventionals, she had found many common threads and experience of those who say they have been abducted by aliens. Like Samantha claims, many say they have woken up to find themselves covered in unexplained injuries and seem to be under surveillance. It's really common, she says. The frequency of helicopter sightings over people who have had alien abductions is phenomenal, she said. Now, do we think this is because they've become paranoid? Or are black helicopters really following them around? Could be real. Does it seem outrageous? Because outrageous can be true. What do we think is true? What are we willing to believe? And what do we flat out know is ridiculous? It's a tough question, really, if you think about it. Well, Joanne goes on to say that she didn't believe sleep paralysis was an explanation for why people feel they have experienced alien abduction, even though the symptoms of the condition include a temporary inability to move, a feeling someone is in the room, and hallucinations and sometimes unconsciously self-harming. 
Joanne says that some of these people have been examined by MRI scans and black light frequency 48 hours after their experience. And this has shown fluorescent marks, such as handprints on their bodies. That would definitely say something. Well, it's her view that she's never incredulous about the supernatural stories people tell her, meaning she's non-judgmental. We have to treat people, she says, who say this has happened to them with respect. I don't believe in aliens. I know about them. It's not about believing. It's about knowing. So there's another question. Do we need to see to believe? Or do we just believe anyway? And that's all information from her. Before she actually got to this show, the people of the show did some interviews of their own of people and their views on the supernatural. And their survey of 1,500 men and women found that almost one in three think they may have seen a UFO, and the same number think that they've seen a ghost. Nearly one in five had visited a medium, but almost half of them felt cheated by the person claiming to have psychic powers. A third say they have experienced items vanishing or moving or odd bumps in the night. 60% don't believe it's even possible to move an object with the power of your mind, but 20% believe that you can actually interact with ghosts. The results also revealed that Samantha isn't the only one out there to feel a victim of alien abduction. And this we know already, right? As 4% in their interviews said it had happened to them. A spokesperson from This Morning, the show, said our viewers are fascinated by the supernatural and the survey results that we have done show that many have had an encounter with a ghost, seen UFOs, and would like to make contact with the dead. During the week, our hosts, some reluctantly, will explore the supernatural world more closely with experts and will also try to find evidence of the afterlife themselves. So their studies are going to continue. Surely they have an interest in this topic. People have revealed that they have had experiences with UFOs. Some have seen flying objects while they've been driving at night, while others say they have seen crop circles and believe aliens were trying to communicate with us via our food. Via our food, that's new. But the two that I'd kind of like to point out today is, number one, we're anticipating aliens coming or already being here. There are different kinds of aliens. The question is, are they talking to each other? Are they trying to win us over? Are they fighting with each other? Or are they working together to get in and understand us and try to either take over or help us? And then the other thing I wanted to point out that is included in this share is that they've actually compared, or not compared, put together alien sightings with ghost sightings. Are these two experiences related? So in fact, do you feel like there's a type of person that might be prone to seeing ghosts or be able to communicate with those in the afterlife? Are those people, do they have a better chance of communicating with those coming from afar, traveling on UFOs, you know, little green men, gray men? So are extraterrestrials talking to each other? And two, is there something in common with those that have encounters with aliens and UFOs with those who seem to have some connection to the afterlife. I'd love to know your thoughts, so share what you think. And thank you for listening. And I will talk to you all soon. <laughs>